project is a 345 kV transmission line and the scope of work that our crews are performing is uh, replacing uh, the existing static wire with a new fiber optic cable and they're also installing new shield wire arms that suspend the shield wire in the air from the structure location. It's 49.7 miles. It went all the way to the generating plant at Prairie State. 17 wire pulls and all, quite a large project. So the main reason why it was decided to use a helicopter company to perform this scope of work, you know, we're in uh, southern Illinois, a lot of agricultural fields, and uh, really want to try to mitigate and minimize the amount of damage that's done to the property as our crews are working in the area. Today you will see the helicopter will transport the men from the LZ, the landing zone, to the structure. They will pre-drill the holes and when ready, the helicopter will bring the static rail in and land it on the structure. They will pin it, secure it, and move the static wire out to the dolly for pulling the new fiber optic in. Hanging from the helicopter uh, adds more danger to the job, of course. Uh, and with it being a dangerous job already, you just have to make sure that you have your head in the game. Because of the flying debris just from the rotors and the rail itself weighs approximately 500 pounds, so just to transport it from the LZ to the structure and not have anything you know, major go wrong, a lot of things can happen, pinch points. Wind, the weather, we've had some upset farmers due to the time of the year that we've come through this project. Uh, the crops have been in. Other than that, it's went very smooth. We kind of had to invest a lot of time in training uh, up front uh, from a safety and production standpoint to make sure that we were adequately set up to perform the work to try to minimize site restoration and damage on their transmission right of ways. The training we had to prepare for this project, we uh, had the first helicopter safety training and then also we had the ATC work uh, training for long lining and then carrying the arms up and framing the poles as well as ongoing training throughout the course of construction to tweak anything that needed to be adjusted uh, to make the work we were performing more safe. But as far as the, the training, it's just really, it's just line work once you're out there. You just use a helicopter instead of bucket trucks. Using a helicopter is not as common, but I think it's becoming more common just for the fact it, it can be quicker and the less damage to the right-of-ways. The use of a helicopter on power line work is uh, very convenient. It's very efficient very quick. The view is beautiful up there, you know, getting to see the country from, from up there is not something that, that everybody gets to do.